I was diagnosed when I was 11, three days after Christmas. Best Christmas present ever. Anthony Green from Bakersfield is one of more than 160 delegates representing their states at the JDRF Children's Congress this year. They want a cure and they're doing everything they can to educate everybody out there to hopefully find that cure. During the Congress, each delegate meets with representatives from his or her state to ask for funding for juvenile diabetes and to create more awareness. We spend more time in talking about it to other people when they say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a type 2, I, I understand. No, no you don't, it's completely different. Type 1 diabetics do not produce insulin. Anthony injects himself with insulin three times a day and checks his blood sugar four to five times daily. There's a joke where our lives are math. Everything that I eat, I have to calculate. Over one million Americans are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. These delegates have come from all across the nation to lobby Congress for more research funds and to lower the cost of insulin. Diabetes has not held Anthony back. I've actually done more that since I've been diagnosed than I did beforehand. To educate and make a safe space for others who face challenges like diabetes and autism, Anthony created the Quiet Zone as part of his Eagle Scouts project. It's a room for diabetics who test and monitor their blood sugar right, and take insulin in a cool environment. Anthony's project and story raises awareness for JDRF's goal of turning type 1 to type none. Sunnyside KC24, local news that matters.